Hey there. So I would just like to show you this. It's a, a flotation tank. This is used for relaxation, but also sensory deprivation. Basically, the, the water in here is, is salt water. So it's set up so you can float. And you close the lid, turn the light off, and it's just you in the water. A wonderful opportunity to to clear the mind and without any influence on the senses you can you can see what's going on and explore within and so it starts off with a, a shower and then you get in here uh, I'll let you know how it goes well as an experience, it's a well worthwhile one. There's an initial joy at just floating that you, you don't experience anywhere else. But after that, it's, it's all about letting go. You have to take some time to let your body know that it doesn't need to lift you at all. You're just going to float to tell your mind there's no goals. It just needs to float. And once you start to float, it's almost like there's a, a balancing aspect. There's a, there's a mild traction on the spine, like it's being straightened. Your posture's put just right. And your mind takes some time to declutter and defrag. And then after this period, the body relaxes, and the mind relaxes. And I think it's, it's clearing. You've let all the natural mechanisms kick in. You can't hear anything. You can't see anything. You're just floating. It's like the senses being purified and the mind and body being clear. All the balancing kicks in. And indeed, there are some traditions in other countries that use darkness and use time away as therapy and I think this is a, a very good wisdom and well worth continuing in the modern age. So if you get a chance to to float do have a go and uh, I think you'll find it really something very beneficial. <laughs>